Hey, welcome back to another Professor Jason Reed walkthrough. This week we are looking at Word 9G Seminar Evaluation Instructions. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and scroll down to our week four and click on My IT Course Content. And we'll click on Word Chapter 9 and Word 9G Seminar Evaluation. Let's go ahead and download our materials. And once again, do not download all files. Go ahead and download each one of these individually. And let's go ahead and open up our student file and click Enable Editing if need be. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit here, give this a better view. And now for step number two, it wants us to insert the file name in the footer. I think we've done that several times throughout these walkthroughs. So we're going to go to our insert tab. From our insert tab under our header and footer group, let's click on footer and edit footer. From the edit footer, we're going to come up here to our insert grouping. Let's click on document info and just click on file name. And there it is. Our file name is there and we can go ahead and close out of our header and footer. It wants us to hit the control home button. So hold down control home and it will take us to the top of the document or you can just go ahead and click at the top of the document. And it wants us to insert a picture. So let's go to our insert tab. From our insert tab, we wanna go under illustrations grouping. Let's click on picture and picture from this device. Now we downloaded it as one of our files that we downloaded. So let's go to our downloads folder. And here it is, our 9G logo photo. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hit insert. And there is my picture. So here we have our alt text. We're just going to ignore that for a minute. Let's go ahead and change our picture size. So I'm going to come up here to our format picture, our picture format tab. Come over here to the size grouping. And I want to change the height to two. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the height here and I'm going to change it to two. Hit two and enter. And it's going to make it a little bit smaller for us. And it wants us to center it. So hold down the control key and hit E for center and it will center the picture. For Apple, hold down command and E. It should center it as well. If not, you can always come to the home tab here and under the paragraph grouping, hit the center button. Now it wants us to position the insertion point in the empty paragraph immediately below the picture. So right here, if you don't have your paragraph markings turned on, go to the Home tab under your paragraph grouping here. Turn on this little icon. So once your cursor is here in the, on this blank line under the picture, let's go ahead and type in Seminar Evaluation Form and hit enter and it wants us to select the text that we just created seminar evaluation form and it wants us to change the font color so i'm going to come to the home tab under the font group click the down arrow next to the a with a red underline and it wants us to select the last column green color last uh, last one so here, all the way down to green accent six, darker 50%. Now for step number four, it wants us to create a new color set. Uh, to do that, we're gonna come to our design tab here. And under our design tab, under our document formatting, we have colors here. Let's go ahead and click on colors. And we are going to hit customize colors. We're gonna give this a name of uh, L A U R E L L E S 9G. And it wants us to for accent one. So let's find where it says accent one. We're going to click on the more colors right here. Do the first color in the standard. So right here, this dark red. We want to click on dark red for accent one under standard colors. And then it wants us to select 
uh, accent six. So let's go ahead and click on accent six. And we're going to change that to the third color in the last row of the standard colors. So the third color, one, two, three, it looks like orange. Let's go ahead and click on orange. And once it says Laurel's 9G, let's go ahead and hit save. Notice how these colors changed and this color changed as well because we changed the actual theme of the colors. Gave it more of a fall look to it. We're going to do the same thing with the fonts. Let's go ahead and come up here to the fonts. We're going to click on the fonts here. And we are going to create a font set using Sego Print for the heading. So we're going to come down here to custom fonts. For the heading font, we want to go and find Sego Print. So I'm going to go all the way down to the S's. I want to find Sego Print right here. And then for the body, it wants me to do Sego UI Lite. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the body font all the way down and find Sego UI Lite. And we're going to give this a name of L'Oreal's 9G. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now notice that the font changes on a lot of our fonts here. It wants us to apply the heading one style to a seminar evaluation form. So let's make sure your seminar evaluation form is highlighted. Let's go to the home tab here. Under our styles, we want to do heading one. We also want to center it. So hold down the control key and hit E to center. And lastly, it wants us to change the font size to 24. So I'm going to come up here to our font group and change it to 24. And there it is. Uh, we have our colors and our fonts changed. And we have our seminar evaluation form looking pretty good. So now for step number six, it wants us to convert a, uh, the first table to text separated with paragraph marks. So there will be times where you want to convert uh, a table to text and vice versa. To do this, we're going to come to our table and we're going to click on this little icon right here. Once you click on this little icon, it'll select the entire table. We're going to come to our layout tab up here. From our layout tab under data, it says right here, convert to text. We're going to go ahead and click on convert to text. Make sure you have a dot next to paragraph marks and hit OK. And now it will make two separate lines and we'll get rid of the table for us. So now we want to create a fillable form in Microsoft Word. In order to do this, we have to show the developer tab up here. Notice that we do not have a developer tab. To do this, we're going to go to our file tab, all the way down to options on the left hand side. We're going to customize our ribbon and over here on our ribbon we're going to highlight down and we're going to find the developer tab put a check mark next to it and hit ok now up here we should have the developer tab let's go ahead and click on it and it wants us to turn on design mode so i'll first off i'm going to deselect this here so we don't have this uh, selected and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on design mode under controls. Now that we are in design mode, we can put in our fillable forms. So let's go ahead right here where it says name. Let's go to this cell right next to it. And we want to insert a plain text content control. So once your cursor is inside this cell here, come up to our controls group here. And let's find the one that says plain text control which is going to be the second one over right here not the rich text but we want the plain text let's go ahead and click on that and now next to seminar date right here we're going to click on the seminar date uh, next to the cell next to seminar date we're going to use the date picker control content control not to be confused with your nose picker let's go ahead and do our controls we're going to find the one that says 
date picker which is this one right here looks like a little calendar let's go ahead and click on that however not only does it want us to put it in here we also need to change the properties so let's go ahead and make sure it's selected or click on it and notice these three dots right here if we click on those three dots it will select the entire thing then we can come up here to our controls group and click on properties and under our properties we can go ahead and select the correct format the capital m d y y so we want to select this one two three fourth one down the one number month the one number day and the two number year go ahead and hit ok now next to instructor let's go ahead and click right here next to instructor we want to create a drop down list so we're going to come up here to our content control and let's find the one that says drop down list which is this one right here go ahead and click on it same thing we want to change the property so let's go ahead and click on properties right here and we want to add a name so click on add and let's type in Alvin Barnes. Once you've typed in Alvin Barnes, hit OK. Let's go ahead and add another name. Let's type in Charles Corbin. And go ahead and hit OK. And add one more name. And this one is going to be Suzanne Parrish. And hit OK. Once we have all three of those names in there, let's hit OK. And then next to subject, let's go ahead and put our cursor in this cell next to subject. We want to do another drop down list. So let's come back up here to our controls. Let's click on drop down list. And let's go ahead and click on properties again. And let's go ahead and add in the items here. First is going to be customer service. Make sure you capitalize the C and the S. Hit OK. Go ahead and add another one. We're going to do employee benefits. Same thing. Capitalize the E, capitalize the B. Hit OK. Let's go ahead and add another one, Microsoft Office. Once again, paying attention to the capitalizations. Hit OK. And then last one hit uh, safety issues. And hit OK. There we are. We have all four of them in there. Go ahead and hit OK. So now in step number 11, in the second table, in each of the cells, it wants us to put a checkbox control. So let's go ahead and click on our first box right here and right here is our content control go ahead and put that checkbox in there go ahead and click on the next one go ahead and add in a checkbox there and continue to do this for all of these throughout the table Once you have a checkbox and all of these, let's go ahead and turn off our design mode. So now that we have design mode, I'm just going to show you how this works. You don't have to do uh, anything here. This is just me showing you. For this content control, you can type into it. For the instructor, if I were to click on it and hit the down arrow, it would give me the choice of the items that we put in. Same thing with the subject. If I hit the down arrow, it would give me the options that we typed in. And then under the date picker, uh, once I turned it to uh, protected mode, it would allow me to pick uh, just the date based on a little calendar. 
So now it says in the blank paragraph at the end of the document, we're going to insert a Microsoft Office signature line. So let's go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom. And let's click right here at the very end. Also, you can hold down the control key and hit end and it will take us all the way down to the bottom of the document. And we're going to put in a signature line. So let's go to the insert tab here. Under the insert tab, let's come all the way over to the text grouping where it says signature line. Hit the down arrow and we're going to do a Microsoft Office signature line. And we want to do the suggested signer is employee name. So suggested signer employee name. And go ahead and hit OK. It will put a signature box for us. Let's go ahead and hit Control Home, or if you're on a Mac, you can just go ahead and scroll all the way to the top, put your cursor right here next to the picture. It wants us to restrict the editing. So let's go to our Developer tab here. Under our Developer tab, we're going to Restrict Editing under Protect. And our little sidebar here that pops up. Under 2, we're going to allow only this type of editing. And we're going to click the down arrow and hit filling in forms. And I'm going to go ahead and hit yes, start enforcing protections. And I'm not going to put in a password. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. So now I can only change in this document. I can only fill out the forms that are here and not make any other changes anywhere else in this document. The only thing I can do is change and fill out this form. All right, so we're done. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to hit the Save button here, and let's go ahead and submit it. I'm going to minimize this. Come back to our Download Starting Materials. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of my Downloading Starting Materials. I'm going to choose my file. And under the Downloads folder, I'm going to select my student file and hit Open. And Upload. And Submit for Grading. I'm going to go ahead and close my assignment. It will take me back to my IT course content. I want to go ahead and click on the three dots, hit View Submissions. And it looks like I got a 98%. I'm going to click on the submissions. And it looks like right here, position the insertion point in the empty paragraph immediately below the picture. Let's see what I did wrong. It says the font color was not set per the instructions. I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong, but I must have picked the wrong color. But it's only two points off. I have a 98%, uh, so I am happy with that. Uh, feel free if you would like to go back and change it for a better grade. You are more than welcome to. Other than that, we're finished with this walkthrough. Uh, I will be working on Word Chapter 10 shortly. Like always, have a wonderful day.